Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Goodness gracious, look at this. Uh, my connection's a little bit, a little bit iffy when I'm in the midst of that, but uh, I've got the the uh, guardian farm largely functioning, and oh, my network connection is not great, but I have it about half half activated. See, I've got about half of the spaces filled up with water, and it is it is going like gangbusters. I'm actually a little scared to do the other half. Um, and if we look at my frame rate, my frame rate is not awesome. It's uh, frequently dips below 30 frames per second. And in this area, I'm not doing great. So, uh, yeah. So this is uh, this is this is pretty wild. I didn't expect it to do this well. And you see, when it plays catch up, it just it's it's go it goes ham. So this is uh, this is awesome. I may not even activate the rest of it because it's it's a bit much. But uh, still, some things to do here. I need to do, clean up the walls. They look ugly. And uh, so I had this whole area sort of dug out last time, I think. And I've got areas here. Let me turn my heads up so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I've got areas here where I've got some uh, things going on. The whole floor is hoppers, and it all leads to here. It all leads to this hopper here which is uh, flowing in stuff to this dropper which is probably full or close to being full and oops and uh, item elevator up to a line of hoppers here which goes to a item sorter here just a regular item sorter into these chests so I've got uh, crystals and shards ink sacs and fish not a lot of ink sacs happening i've already pulled some out they do occasionally happen the fish here and then when these the fish things here fill up and i've been emptying them out manually because it's a pain in the butt having so many fish then this is my overflow which at the moment is probably empty and that was handy when i was working on things when i'm when i'm filling in the uh the spawning sections uh, I came up with a way of doing it, which I'll show you, um, is uh, not a bad way to do it. Uh, actually makes things pretty easy, uh, but it drops, I uh, end up dropping dirt down on the hopper floor here. And um, so it goes in and ends up in the, the miscellaneous chest. So yeah, so I'm trying to stylize this area here a bit using the native blocks. We'll see. I've got another area behind here which you can kind of see through the gaps in our area similar to this in size it's empty nothing back there don't know what i'm going to do with it may not do anything with it might turn it into a mass storage system i don't know uh with when they go this this fast when i get this many drops um the uh sorting system or the elevator has a hard time keeping up because all these hoppers stream along here up to this row here which all goes along this way and then into this is a sorting system and it may be that what I need to do is I may need to build another sorting system here and have half of the farm go over here and half the farm go over there just to keep up um, this spotting rate drops considerably when other people are on the server I'm here all alone at the moment so right now it's going it's going gangbusters and what i do what i've been doing is i've just been kind of afking at the farm when other people are on and the drops slow down considerably just to let the the uh, the collection system catch up and then what i've been doing is collecting all the bits and pieces and making sea lanterns and prismarine and prismarine bricks <laughs> and dark prismarine out of the drops so that's the uh that's the basic idea here uh yeah so and then here um i don't know i think i sort of mentioned this or showed it partially 
Let's see if I can... Oh, get my network. This may not work too well. Okay, there we go. So I built a little railway up. And uh, FXFX decided to drop a couple flowers off here. But I decided to make... Oh! Oh, shoot. Ah, get out. There's a spawn chunk. There's a slime chunk in here somewhere. As you, is now obvious. So, we will climb up the, uh, the ladder here. Um, but this goes up to the island with the portal. It's all underwater. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> building this through the ocean. But... It looks really cool, especially at night from the top of the uh, the wall surrounding the Guardian Farm. This looks pretty cool over here at nighttime. There we go. And another flower on top of the portal there. Oh, get out of the water. There we go. Cool. So, oops. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's it over there. And over here. Nice. So, there we go. Let's, uh... Let's show you how I fill in the spots. Okay, so here we are on top of the Guardian Farm. And uh, things seem to be okay because not many of them are spawning right now because I'm right on top. So let me show you how I've been filling these in. And uh, we'll, we'll light up another few of them. So what I've been doing, I, I started out grabbing... Uh, Lots of buckets, lots of empty buckets, uh, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. So what I what I came up with was laying down some some dirt here, and then putting in some ice, and it just takes three of them in here to make that all source blocks. And now this guy is ready to go, and then I'll lay in some slabs on top just to uh, block it from the sky. Because the sky axis causes something like 95% of potential spawns to fail. So, whoops. So that that dirt block and the ones from over there are go into the collection system and they will eventually find their way out. It takes a while though. It turns out that... Uh, there we go. Uh, it turns out that the collection system the way I have it set up is not super awesome it doesn't really uh, allow things to leapfrog over others so once it gets into delivering say prismarine shards that's all it does for a while until it runs out and then whatever happens to be next it uh, continues with that uh, it's fine eventually everything gets through it just it can sometimes take a while so uh, that's that's fine so what uh so as i said when other people are on like when there's there's three other people on oh man oh this is dumb i forgot to take out the dirt on this one that's uh not get all the slabs so I don't have to worry about those going through the collection system so as I said everything eventually gets out and if I got like you know three other people on the server it's a completely different story this the spawn rate drops down to very nothing and and after a while stuff does eventually work its way through so that's all that so there we go let me uh, let's finish up this row Oh, I don't need to do that. What are you doing, Theron? Just cover it up. Okay, so I laid out this row. Um, the reason I'm putting dirt down is because if you put ice on top of an air block and break it, it doesn't turn into water. It has to be sitting on top of a salt block for it to do that. So I put down the dirt, which I can get away, rid of pretty quickly. And now I got another row here. And so I do the same thing down here. Boop. And then put down the ice. Break. And break. And then put this on top of there. And get 
back that slab. So there we go. Uh, I will, I need to cover the, uh, the whole farm area at some point. Um, I do occasionally have lightning storms when I'm out here and then some of the leaf blocks that I've got around the, the outside, they, they, uh, they catch fire and burn up, which is no good. So I'm replacing them from time to time. So uh, I want to avoid having to do that. And uh, so I think covering the whole farm will give me an opportunity to decorate somehow. I don't know how. Um, I'm trying to think of ways to do that. I uh, could do a giant guardian or something on top or just uh, blue glass so you can walk over and look at it. And I think that should stop the lightning from damaging anything, but we'll, uh, we will see. Oop. Hey, where's my water? Um, sorry for the air conditioner noise. I'm sure it's, you can hear it. Come on, come on. There we go. Come on, pick up. Um, it is, it's kind of hot today. Uh, it is. Uh, today was the MS walk, so I did walk in that, and I got kind of, uh, I kind of, I got kind of worn out by it. It was, it was in the low 90s in Pasadena around the Rose Bowl, um, and so that's, uh, that's not, not typical for this time of year, but, um, it, it does happen, and... And it's in the sun. There's not a lot of shade at the Rose Bowl, at least not in the the area where everyone gathers. So it's uh, it gets a bit much. And you may not be aware of this, um, and they're not actually sure why, but uh, people with MS tend to be a little bit more uh, susceptible to heat fatigue than usual. They're not sure if it's a side effect of the MS or if it's actually a separate autoimmune disease that happens to be coincident. It's, they're just not entirely sure. There is a name for it, which I'm forgetting at the moment. But um, so I do not do well in the heat. I get tired very quickly. It's a little difficult in the summers in Los Angeles, but that's, uh, that's, that's where I live. So I do have to deal with it. So the air conditioner is on. I tried to turn it off, and uh, it uh, it got kind of warm in here, so I had to turn it back on. So that's that's another row there. Um, I do have spotting spaces in these in the in sort of the junctions between the the spots. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. We can fly around in here. And they're spawning from the new ones. Nice. Anyway, as I said, the uh, the dirt and stuff that I dropped in here. Ah, stupid slime. And there's a there's a cave right up here, I think, where the big slimes can spawn. Right along the track here, it's only the small ones because they only have a one block area to spawn on. But we'll figure it out. Uh, as I said, the, the overflow chest here, the extra dirt and stuff should end up in here, but it'll take a while for that to happen, especially when the farm is going crazy like this. Oh, let's go up to the top. Let's see if I can with my network being the way it is. Um, I built... Oh, the, the overflow has an overflow. And... Stuff that overflows gets dispensed here into lava. Boop. Gets shot down into this lava pool. Decided to take advantage of the natural feature. But right here, ooh, off by one block, I have a little escape hatch. See if I can make this work. There we go. 
When it works, oh, come on. When it works well, it works. Um, when the network's laggy, when I've got lag, it's not oh, so happening. And I miss the sunrise. Ugh, okay. All right, so when I'm able to get up here, um, that's that's the that's the area there in the end of the the railway. I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, that's uh, just wanted to do a little update on that. The gardening farm is going gangbusters, and um, I will I don't know how much more of this I'm going to activate for now. May want to wait till I have more stuff. Uh, wow. Well, I guess that's it. The end of the episode then. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Postscript. Um, I think the the, the the lag I was suffering at the Guardian Farm is uh, largely due to how many entities were being processed, and my internet connection is not super fast, so it, each entity adds a little bit to the sort of lag time and it, or the latency and it ends up being a little bit of a mess but uh, now that we have sea lanterns I've uh, started redecorating haven't done all of it but uh, the I want to get rid of all these torches in the nether and in my little nether tunnels here and so I started putting sea lanterns in the ceiling to just give some light the floors are slabbed so it's not uh, nothing can spawn in here don't have to worry about pigment or anything so this is all safe uh, so I've just been putting some overhead lighting I think it works pretty nicely uh, this is a newish portal and uh, let me show you what's on the other side FXFX has been busy he built this little uh, fake desert monument here which looks really cool it's the first time he's really done much with sandstone but I think it works nicely he built this area here and this is a 8x8 uh, grid of chunks with the intention that you can and they're bordered and with the intention that you can lay in either stained clay which will soon be called terracotta when 1.12 comes out or you can lay in wool and then you take a map, and this is one map, er, map, one map area. I'm not sure how zoomed out it is, but we'll find out in just a moment. And when you come over here and fill in the map, the uh, the clay and the wool show up in their proper colors. So let's uh, let's take a look. Scale it one to one. So you take the map. And then you walk around and fill it in and when you get done you can stick it on a on a item frame like this uh, and uh, Yeah, you get you can basically can make your own custom paintings. which is pretty cool uh, North is up. I think north is that way. We should put a compass in the floor uh, One thing that's going to be necessary. We're gonna need lots and lots and lots. I mean chest double chest full of blocks to make the different colors so I'm gonna help with collecting those. And that's what these chests are for, is to, to store the blocks of different colors. I think he's got uh, all six, he's got 16 stacks of blocks here, of chests, to fill in with all the different colors. So we'll uh, we'll figure that out. And partly this was in, in, in anticipation of 1.12, thinking that uh, uh, concrete might be a good choice for it. <clears throat> but uh, we, we will see, so. Uh, the only thing I wanted to mention was that the uh, I mentioned the MS walk this video will probably be going up in about a week I'm almost caught up on my videos oops and uh, so uh, I will be putting a link to the fundraising page in the video description and you can see uh, at the moment I've raised almost seventeen hundred and fifty dollars thanks to many generous people around the world who uh, who donated money to help support me in in the MS walk? So I'm super grateful for everyone who donated, and um, and and you know I didn't expect anyone to donate. Uh, certainly there was it's not required, and anybody who doesn't uh, doesn't have the ability to donate money, I don't feel 
uh, in any way I'm not angry or upset or disappointed that's not the point um, it's a, it's a way for me to help uh, raise money for MS research and support for people with MS by way of the National MS Society and uh, I can do that and the people who have the ability and desire to uh, to help give some money can do so uh, the link will actually be the fundraising link will actually be good through at least the end of the year I think it's um, or I think it's maybe until September sometime uh, but it's so and I have other fundraising plans sort of in mind and so we'll we'll get to that uh, hopefully later this year but uh, so if you're interested and you would like to support the National MS Society it's a good organization uh, it helps people with multiple sclerosis um, and they're a, a nonprofit that gets about 80% of their money goes to non fundraising uh, you know spending meaning <clears throat> they spend most of their money on actually paying out to help support research and uh, support people who have MS and uh, that's a pretty high percentage for a nonprofit. Uh, they do a lot of fundraising, and so the MS Walk is an expensive thing for them to put on. But they raise a lot of money, uh, millions of dollars a year, and so I'm happy to be part of a part of that. And uh, my goal for the year was two thousand dollars, and I'm hoping to hit that by the by the time the fundraising season ends. So, well, I think we'll get there, but. Uh, but thanks to everyone who did donate, and I'm super appreciative of it. And and there will be more more opportunities. Uh, you can go to the link, and I will no doubt be walking next year as well. <clears throat> and as I said, I have other fundraising plans in mind. So uh, if you didn't get a chance, you can still do so, and there will be more opportunities in the future if you are interested if not that's fine i don't that's not a problem um i i'm very appreciative of everyone who uh who does i'm fortunate to have a life filled with people who are generous and caring and supportive and are are happy to help out so that's uh that's all i have to say about that we're done uh, i think i'm gonna go back to my place and repair up some of my stuff and go uh probably go back to work on the 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 pyramid in the desert because uh, that's been kind of sitting fallow for a while um but that's it so thank you for watching this is theron it's been minecraft land party and i will see you next time All right bye